The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. just made it. Viv, we have got to get up earlier so the kids don't keep missing that school bus. <laughs> Either that or sleep with our clothes on. <laughs> I was never so embarrassed in my life. What happened? A little girl asked Jerry if I was his mother, and he said, no, I've never seen that woman before in my life. <laughs> How do the mothers of other kids get out of bed in time to get them off to school? Those mothers have husbands who push them out of bed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, tomorrow morning, we get up earlier. That's what you said yesterday morning. Well, this time, I mean it. You said that yesterday morning, too. <laughs> well, Viv, we gotta start someplace. Uh, who could that be? <sighs> Hello? Oh, hi there. Yeah, she's here. It's Howard McClay. He must be very interested in you to be calling you at 8 a.m. Boy, I'm glad it's not phone vision <laughs> Uh, hello, Howard. Oh, fine, thank you. Oh, I always get up early. <laughs> yeah, I like to be up and dressed and look pretty for the children before they go to school. <laughs> oh, I had a good time Saturday night, too. Oh, but then I always have a good time with you, Howard. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you like my dress. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, tonight? Oh, I'd love to. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 7.30. Oh, wonderful. All right, Howard. <laughs> Bye. Well, well? He wants me to go to dinner tonight. Oh, good. Let's see now, what'll I wear? <laughs> Viv, he asked me to dinner. I mean to your wedding. Oh, really, Viv? Just because I've gone out with Howard three times doesn't mean that I'm serious about him. Anyone who giggles and talks mushy at this time of the morning has got to be serious. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Where are you going? Some romantic spot for a candlelight supper? No, nothing like that. Dinner at the boss's house. Uh-huh. That's it. Uh-huh. That's what? Once <laughs> you get the boss's okay, the ring is practically on your finger. Congratulations, Mrs. McClay. Oh, will you stop? This is nothing but a social evening. Uh-huh. What's that aha uh -huh for? <laughs> Didn't you tell me that they were thinking of making Howard a partner in his uh, law firm? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't you ever run out of uh -huh's? <laughs> Before they make him a partner, the boss wants to see what kind of a woman he's going to marry. And believe me, Lucille, you could do a lot worse than to marry an attractive, intelligent, well-to-do lawyer like Howard McClay. <clears throat> you know, Viv, every day and every way you sound more and more like my mother. <laughs> I only tell you these things for your own good. Yes, Mother. <laughs> now, Lucy, I mean it. Howard's a very attractive man, even if he is a little uh, stuffy. He isn't stuffy, he's conservative. Uh-huh, you're defending him. That proves that you're serious. Oh, Lucy, I can see it all now. 
Yesterday, in a simple ceremony, Mrs. Lucille Carmichael became the bride of Howard McClay, well-known attorney of the firm of Donahue, Pomerantz, Lombardi, and, if this dinner tonight goes like I hope it will, McClay. Well, I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to leave you waiting at the church, and I wouldn't want to cheat you out of singing, oh, promise me, but I am not going to marry Howard McClay. I am merely going to dinner with him and... Oh, I forgot something else I got to do tonight. Well, I'll just have to call Howard back and cancel. Over my dead body. But I promised little Jerry I'd help him with his nature project for the Cub Scouts tonight. Oh, dear. Now, couldn't you do both? Well, maybe I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give Jerry an early dinner. I'll help him with the project, and then I'll go on my date. Yes, you do that. Yeah, that'll work out all right. <laughs> la, 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 la. La 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 Bugs. This is my nature craft project. Those creepy things? I told you I was collecting bugs. Oh, bugs. I thought you said buds. <laughs> you know, like rose buds, camellia buds, magnolia buds. Mom, I'm a Cub Scout, not a campfire girl. <laughs> All right, dear. What do you want me to do? First, we have to put the bugs to sleep. How do I do that? Sing them rock a -bye baby <laughs> No. First, you take a piece of cotton. Yeah. Then you put some alcohol on it. Yeah. Then you drop it in the jar. Oh, alcohol. Well, that's not so bad. At least they'll go with a smile on their lips. <laughs> <laughs> now, after you've killed them, I'll mount them on this board. Oh. Well, why don't you let me put them on the board and you put them to sleep? Okay. How do I mount them on the board? You stick pins to them. <laughs> I stick pins to them? Oh, dear. I, I think I'd rather send them to that final picnic in the sky. <laughs> okay, let's see here now. Sisandella limbata. Yeah, that's what you are, all right. More commonly known as a tiger beetle. Oh? Here, take a good look. Oh, my, he has a face only a mother tiger beetle could love. <laughs> well, let's get at it. Sorry to do this, old man. <laughs> there you are. Stag Momentus Carolina. Isn't he a beauty? Yeah, if you say so. That's another name for a praying mantis. Oh, a praying mantis. Oh. What's the matter? Shouldn't we wait till he's through praying? <laughs> oh, come on, Mom! <laughs> okay. Oh, he was a brave little rascal. Didn't even ask for a cigarette or a blindfold. <laughs> What's this? A Lepidoptera blancus. That's my prize. It's a royal white butterfly. My, he's tiny. I was sure lucky to find him. They don't usually fly any further north than Virginia. Well, your little wings must be tired. <laughs> What's this? Where are all the flowers? Oh, uh, I made a mistake, Viv. Uh, Jerry's project was not buds, it's bugs. <laughs> bugs? Yeah, well, it's, it's very fascinating. See, now, for instance, here we have a uh, Lepidoptera blancus. Uh -huh. It's very rare. Oh. It took me three weeks to find it. It'll take me three weeks to learn how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? he got away. Oh, no. He got away. Here. going to catch him. I'll go get my net. You keep an eye on him. All right. Where'd he go, Viv? I don't know. I don't see him. Oh, dear. Here, uh, here, Lepi, Lepi Dopper. Uh, here, Lepi. Here, Lepi. Come on, Viv. 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 Come on,
Now, my be. Oh, Lucy, you've stopped calling him. What? He just flew out the door. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Isn't that Mama? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's too late. He got away. Oh, Ma! Well, I'm sorry. Now, don't worry. I I'll find you another butterfly. You won't have it in time for the den meeting. When's the den meeting? Day after tomorrow. Well, honey, that gives me 48 hours. Now, I'll find you another one. I promise. Oh, no, you won't. Where are you going? To bed. Aren't you going to finish the project? What's the use without my pride butterfly? Oh. This is the most blackest day of my entire life. <laughs> He's really taking it hard. Oh, I feel awful. Oh, I'll get him another butterfly if I have to go all the way to Virginia. Yeah. Dear. Oh, that must be Howard. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Let's see how you look. Straighten that dress. Oh, your hair. What's the matter with it? Well, it doesn't look very good, but don't worry about it, dear. <laughs> Can I answer the door? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lucille. What? Maybe you should have worn your blue dress. It does so much more for your eyes. Oh, really, Viv? If you keep this up, I'm going to make you a present for Mother's Day. <laughs> Stay up. Don't slump. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Good evening, Howard. Good evening, Lucille. Uh, won't you come in? Oh, thank you. Hello, Mr. McClay. Good evening, Mrs. Bagley. I'll get my coat. Oh, allow me to help. Oh, thank you. There we are. Doesn't Lucille look lovely tonight? Lucille always looks lovely. <laughs> I must say, you two make a very handsome couple. Well, thank you. Excuse us for rushing off like this, but Mr. Donnie is a stickler for punctuality. Oh, you don't want to keep a senior partner waiting. <laughs> That's right. Good night, Viv. Good Have night, a good Bagley. time. Thank you. A wonderful time. Thank you. Oh, Mr. McClay, don't worry about getting Lucille home early. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wait up, Mom. <laughs> I have my own key. <laughs> Charming party, oh, Mrs. Donahue. Well, thank you. I thought because the weather had been so warm lately, it would be nice to eat outdoors. Oh, it'll be delightful. Mrs. Carmichael. Thank you. Love me, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, thank you, Mr. Donahue. Well, I suppose you've heard. I'm thinking of making Howard a full partner in my law firm. Really, sir? Well, you couldn't find a better man. Frankly, I think you'd make a pretty good partner yourself. Oh, now, Mr. Donahue, are you proposing? <laughs> Speaking of proposing, I propose we have dinner. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, sir, have you read my brief on the Webster case? Excellent. In fact, it's so good, I'm going to let you go to court with it. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. That, that's quite an honor. You'll deserve to be a partner if you can pull that one out of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Anything wrong? No, no, just a bug. <laughs> oh, well, if they bother you, we can eat inside. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I like it out here with the bugs. <laughs> She likes bugs. <laughs> Wrong bug. <laughs> Do you always look for bugs? Oh, no, not always. It's just that earlier this evening I lost one. <laughs> well, we certainly hope you find it. But don't be how. Yes, yes, by all means. <laughs> Missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Ma, please be more careful. Oh, it wasn't Ella's fault, really. It was my fault. I'm terribly sorry. I was uh, trying to catch that little butterfly. Really, Mrs. Car I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Don't blame sorry, Ella. Mrs. Carmichael. It's the first time you've come to well, our house. Well, it's all right. Mrs. It was entirely my fault. Well, Ella, be a little more careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, Mrs. Carmichael, you're, you're quite a bug lover. Oh, it's not me, it's my son. Yes. You see, uh, he's a Cub Scout. 
He's a Cub Scout and he has a, a very interesting insect collection. And I'm helping him with it. See, he lost a Lepidopera blancus and I'm trying to help him find it. Oh, get away from here. You're not a Lepidoptera, you're an imposter. <laughs> Yes, he has a very interesting insect collection. He has flies and beetles and spiders and caterpillars, and he sticks pins in them. <laughs> I, I'm sure that this must be very fascinating. Oh, it is, it is. In case you see a Lepidoptera blancus, be sure and let me know. Uh, that's a little white butterfly. Oh, my goodness, I was afraid to ask. <laughs> butterfly and it has blue markings on the wings and it just like don't move is not a Lepidoptera. It's an entirely different bug. Oh, well, those things will happen. <laughs> one to finish eating? I have the smallest mouth. <laughs> Come on, you'll be late for school. I'm not going to school today. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right, Chris, lay off that horn. All right, young man, what's this all about? If I go to school, I have to go to the Cub Scout meeting this afternoon. So? I told everyone I had this white butterfly. I can't turn in my project without it. And if I don't turn in my project, I won't be able to go on the field trip. What field trip? We're going to spend a whole day at a herpetorium. What's a herpetorium? It's a snake farm. Oh, a snake farm. We've <laughs> got rattlesnake, cobra, copperhead. Yeah, well, it'd be a shame to have you miss seeing that. Okay. Yeah, well, come on, come on. I I'll get you a white butterfly by the time you get home today. Come on. Hold it, Mom. What? That's what you said yesterday. Well, I spent all day yesterday alerting everybody and tacking up signs saying white butterfly wanted. Mom, butterflies can't read. Oh, well, come on, come on, be late. All right, all right. Oh, listen, Viv, if yeah. that's Howard McClay, tell him I'll call him back. Is he still speaking to you after what happened last night? Oh, yes, he recovered. I'm having dinner with him Saturday night. Ah, ha, ha. Hello? Yes, she yeah? Yes? You did? Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'll tell her. What? That was Mr. Hofstetter at the drugstore. He just saw a white butterfly in that park across the street from the courthouse. Good. Uh, I'll pick it up as soon as I get the kit back. Wait a minute! Boo! <laughs> I 
I'm, uh, I'm looking for a Lepidoptera blicus. Of course you are, yeah. Yeah, it's a little white butterfly with, with blue markings. Mr. Hofstadter said it flew into the park. Of course it did. You, you didn't have to see it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> They're perfectly harmless. You are? I mean, they are. Yeah, it's a... There it goes. And here we go. Let's get away from this woman. <laughs> yeah. Lady, look what you did. I'm terribly sorry. Huh. Mrs. Wickenhauser, for your eyewitness account of the accident to my client. Surely. You may cross-examine. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Wickenhauser, you say that you were in the lobby of the Danville Bank building at 10 o'clock in the morning when the accident presumably occurred. That's right. And isn't it true that you were dressed in your bathrobe and nightgown? That's right. Your Honor, I object. I'm only questioning the credibility of the witness. Objection overruled. Proceed. I've never seen a woman in downtown Danville <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning in her nightclothes. Mrs. Wickenhauser, would you like to explain why you were so dressed? Well, I drove my husband to work. He left his lunch in the car, and I was taking it back to him. If he doesn't get his corned beef sandwich and some of my homemade coleslaw, he's in an awful snit. <laughs> and this witness expects the court to believe that the women of Danfield have so little pride and to appear in a public building in night clothes. Your Honor, I fail to see what the witness's clothing has to do with this case. Objection sustained. Proceed. Now, uh, Mrs. Wickenhauser, you said that you were standing right next to the plaintiff. Are there other people around? Oh, yes. Lucille! How oh, many? Oh, Howard. Oh, hello, Mr. Donahue. Pardon me, I, I gotta get that. Oh. Order in the court. Order in the court. Bailiff, remove this person from this courtroom. Order. Order in the court. McClay. Mr. McClay. This is nothing more than a cheap theatrical stunt to prejudice the jury. Your Honor, believe me, Mr. Mr. Donahue, Donahue, I expect you in my chamber immediately. I want an explanation. Order, Philip, remove this woman from the courtroom. Order in the court. I am always a beauty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I promised my son that I'd get this for him. Wait a minute now, let me get him. I don't want to injure him. Oh, isn't he a beauty? Madam, this happens to be a court of law. And, and would you be so kind as to remove this net from my head? Yes. <laughs> I declare a mistrial. Jury is dismissed. Court is adjourned. This is yes. Carmichael. Terribly sorry. We had this case won until you walked in. Oh, Mr. Donahue, I'm terribly sorry, but I just did it for my little boy. Weren't you ever a Cub Scout, and didn't you ever lose your Lepidoptera blackness? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Oh, Howard, I, I guess our... Our Saturday night date is more or less off, huh? All right, all right. Put it out to me. Well? Well? <laughs> Howard, even
even if you couldn't think of me as a date, do you think, do you think you could think of me as a client? <laughs>